And the Missouri Highway Patrol says that there will be an arrest after a deadly crash on I-29 last night. Troopers tell us a semi-truck driver crossed the median and traveled the wrong way for a mile. A car crashed into the back of the truck as the truck driver tried to turn around, killing a passenger. And it all happened along a stretch of I-29 where median guard cables, commonly called crossover cables, are installed. 41 Action News reporter Kat Reed joins us live now to explain why the semi wasn't stopped from crossing over, Kat. You know, Mike, there's a very simple answer. The cables are not meant to stop semis. Rather, they're designed to prevent cars and smaller trucks from crossing over the median and into oncoming traffic. And for that, they work. As you travel down the highway, there's a safety feature you may not pay much attention to. That is, until it saves your life. Occasionally, I've seen an accident that the cables have caught somebody to keep them from crossing over. You see the wires get tense and then it kind of brings them back over. I've also seen them before they were there where cars just absolutely got destroyed. So, and it was tragic. These median guard cables are the result of a MoDOT initiative that began nearly two decades ago. We started doing a lot of this median guard cable back in 2001, and uh, we estimate that we have saved over 400 lives in, in, since then. MoDOT initially focused on I-70. In 2002, before the cable was installed, there were 24 fatalities on the highway. By 2006, that number fell to just two. The agency study found the cable caught 95% of the vehicles that crashed into it. Unfortunately, it's not designed to stop tractor trailers. On Thursday, drivers on I-29 could see the aftermath of a semi going through the barrier just north of Platte City. MoDOT has to repair the cable after crashes, and it's not cheap. The initial installation costs between $100 and $120,000 a mile. Is that expensive? It's yes, it's 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 money, but I you know we feel it's money well spent. I mean. To, to help save lives in Missouri. You know, the biggest factor that MoDOT takes into account when deciding whether or not to install the cable is, is the width of the median. So if it's really wide, they say you don't need the cable because there's plenty of time for your car to come to a stop. But MoDOT is constantly evaluating where the barriers are needed. Reporting live in Kansas City, Cat Reed, 41 Action News.